Hi, Pastor Bob Reynolds here from True Life Community Seventh-day Adventist Church. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday, and I hope that uh, you're staying healthy. Uh, more than anything, I hope you're healthy. Did you know that the moon does not have its own light? The moon is just a dark ball in the sky. The only light that it has is reflected from the sun. So when we see the moon up in the sky, it is not generating its own light. It's reflecting the light from the sun on the other side of the world. Sometimes the moon is really big and round and it lights up wherever you're walking. You can almost walk without a flashlight. It's so bright. Other times you see maybe a little half of the moon or maybe a little sliver of the moon. Do you know why that is? It's because the earth gets in the way. Yeah, the earth comes between the sun and the moon and it's right in here and it shuts off part of the light. Sometimes you don't see the moon at all because the earth gets in the way. <laughs> It's kind of like that with us. <clears throat> you know, God wants us to reflect his joy and love and peace and long suffering. He wants us to reflect his light. But so many times we let the earth get in the way. The things that we love get in the way. The things that we want to do. Habits or, or uh, you know, a lot of things that we want to do ourselves that don't glorify God get in the way. The earth gets in the way. God wants us to be lights. Did you know that? He tells us that in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, beginning with verse 14. Listen to this. You are the light of the world. That's you and me. He's talking to you and me. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. And it gives light to everyone in the room. Isn't that amazing? When we are reflecting God's light, we affect everybody in the room. Everybody in the room sees the light. It reflects, to, the light reflects to everyone in the house. And then in the same way, God says, let your light shine before men so that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Wow, that's pretty cool. We can reflect God's light to everybody in the room, everybody that we meet day by day, out on the sidewalk, uh, down at the store, wherever, maybe in the workplace. Let's pray that God will help us do that every day. Father, I thank you that we can be lights to people around us. And that light is not our light. That light is reflected from Jesus and his joy and peace and patience. Just touch everyone in the room because they see it in us. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen.